Hi everybody, welcome. It's Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, so it's time for Stamping with Denise. How's everybody? Did you have a nice weekend? I did. Today was my first day back to work. I was off last week, so you know that's always a little bit uh, stressful, sort of, you know? So let me pull this up. Give everybody a second to find us, because it takes a minute. Uh, let me share this. Beautiful. Okay. And I pull that up so I can see comments if there's any. Sometimes I look at them, sometimes I don't because I get distracted if I do. And I forget where I'm at. Tonight I have a really cool technique to show you. I just saw it this weekend. Another demonstrator shared it with me and I thought I gotta try that that looks really cool so I hope you like it it uses um, embossing powder and if you're not familiar with that we'll talk about that so if you were with me last week if you recall I made these cute little frames just out of cardstock but aren't they cute and I, I think they're just so bright and cheery so remember if you share my video and then you comment shared in the comments you'll get a chance to win the project I did for that week. So you, you've got to comment that you shared though, because if we're not Facebook friends, then I can't, I don't see who shared. It just says I had so many shares, but I can't see who shared. So it's important that you comment that you shared. But for last week, Susan Johnson is going to win this little framed sentiment. I just think these are cool. I want to do some more of these. We, this was with the Ridiculously Awesome stamp set. So, um, hope you like those. Um, my husband, who doesn't get too impressed with it, much of the stuff I do, he really liked these. He thought they were would have been much more difficult to make than they really are. So, okay. So, let's um, get, you know what? We'll get right to it. I am going to put the phone up in the holder. So close your eyes, I don't want you to get motion sickness, and we'll get right to it, okay? Hang on. Fix my cord so it stays out of the way. There we go. Okay, so you've probably seen this really, this is cool. It's called Jacob's Coat, and um, I had never seen it before, but I thought, I'm going to try that. It reminds me of something we used to do in school. So now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to actually show you, in case you're not familiar with how heat embossing works, and I'm going to do the sentiment, because I'll be honest, when I do the heat embossing on here, you're not really going to be able to see it too much, okay? So I'm going to do a sentiment so that you can get the idea of what I'm doing, and then this, when I do this, it'll make a lot more sense to you, okay? So... What we do when we do heat embossing, we use a clear ink. It's called Versamark. Let me get these things out of the way. The stamp set tonight, I know I've featured this before. It's called Forever Fern, but it seemed like the right stamp set to use for this technique, and I think it turned out beautifully. So, anyway, to do the heat embossing, we use this clear ink. Like I said, it's called Versamark, and you stamp but first thing we're gonna do, especially for this technique, is use our embossing buddy. Now this is something that Stampin' Up! just retired out of the catalog and I'm not sure why. But what it does is it, it keeps the embossing powder from sticking where you don't want it to. So you get a much cleaner image, okay? So I've got clear ink. You may or may not be able to see it. Okay, let me put this over here and put that out of the way so I don't know I don't know if you can see the to a friend that makes me smile I don't know if you can see the color on where it's kind of glossy there okay 
So then what I'm gonna do is take this white embossing powder and put it over the card, okay? Or over that stamped image, and then we're going to shake it off. And you can see you've got, it's now where I've stamped in that clear ink, you can see this. Now when I do the card, I'll be using clear embossing powder. And again, that's why I'm showing you this here because you won't be able to really see it. But then the, the magic happens when, let me get this out of the way, when we use the heat gun and it's gonna melt this powder. Now I'm gonna turn on my heat gun. I don't know how loud it's gonna be on your end, um, but so just beware. This will take just a second, but you watch, you're gonna watch that um, embossing powder melt. Takes just a second for it to heat up. There we go, it's starting to melt. You see how it's it's becoming solid? So that's the... Okay, so there, there you go. That's the magic of em, embossing powder and heat embossing is to, and it's it's got a nice raised kind of a glossy finish on it okay so if you've never seen heat embossing before that's what it looks like and like I said I wanted to show you that first so that this what I did with this card makes more sense so let me set this off to the side and we're going to take a piece of whisper white and this piece is five and a quarter by four you actually need two because you because you're using a black card base, you're gonna need something on the inside, okay? Um, and we're gonna use three ink colors. Any three ink, coordinating ink colors you want to. This is one of the new ink colors. It's Magenta Madness, which I think is really cool. That's the first one. Um, the second one is Pool Party, which is kind of a blue-green. And then Granny Apple Green, which is probably a favorite color of mine. The funny thing is I'm not that big a fan of green, but boy, I like Granny Apple Green. So you can do this with a sponge. You can do this with a um, sponge dauber. I just use sponges, and I don't worry that they're, it, you know, like there's different colors on because you know what? I wash them out, so they get stained. But even if I was using a side with another color on it, it's been washed out. So what we're going to do... You don't even have to be careful with this. We're just gonna cover this whole piece of paper with color. You know, normally we don't want these edges like that, but for this it doesn't make any difference. You know, we we try to avoid, you know, having darker spots, but you know what? For this technique, it doesn't make any difference at all. So on this the biggest thing you can do to mess up is not get everything covered okay so that's enough of that pink right there I'm just trying to move things out of my way so I don't put my finger in them okay so now we're gonna go with pool party I'm gonna put take my sponge here and use the pool party looks like my ink pad might need to be So, you just lay it down and it's okay if they overlap a little bit. Just try and get some nice dark color. Okay, so the other places I am going to do the same thing with the Granny Apple Green. I did this, I tried this a couple of times before and had some issues, so I'll talk about things I did differently. And it's hard to know exactly what made it better because I made like three or four changes each time, so I don't know. One thing, I, when I was first trying this, I used some other brand of cardstock and I know it didn't work very well. So I don't know if cardstock quality had something to do with it or not. 
So look at that. I mean, it kind of looks like a mess, but it's a cool kind of combination. And you know, I got this color combination off the color coach that uh, Stampin' Up! provides us. It gives us a thing that tells us what colors go with, um, coordinate with each other. And so it's kind of nice. So I just pulled out um, something, the one for the magenta and went there. Okay, so one thing I, I am gonna do too, because I think it makes a difference, I'm gonna use the heat gun and just make sure this ink is good and dry. So give me a sec here. Okay, so like, like I said, I made two or three changes each time, so I'm not sure exactly what can what I did that improved it, but those were some of them. Okay, now the next step is to use the embossing buddy again. You be very liberal with it. Um, I think one of my issues when I was working on them the first time is that I think the ink was still a little bit wet, and I forgot to use the embossing buddy once and it was just a hot mess so I'm very liberal with this embossing buddy so and if you don't have an embossing buddy they sell other craft stores sell them I've heard people say that they can make it um, you can make it they use like a old sock and put cornstarch in I don't know but it helps keep the embossing powder from sticking where you don't want it. So for this card, what I did was, I put, I'm gonna, I'll flip this over so we can, all these stamps on one block. And it, um, it just made it easier. Especially since, again, I'm using, I'm gonna be using clear embossing powder and the, the Versamark is clear. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to see. So, um, so I'm going to take this and just stamp the clear stamp on there. And you may or may not be able to see. I don't know if you can see where it's a little bit shiny on there or not. I can see pretty good. So now I'm going to ink this up and do the bottom half of the card and do the same thing. My goal is not to overlap what I was stamping on. Okay, so let me turn this so I can see where my it is. So hang tight here, right about here, I think. Whoops. See, it's kind of it's kind of tricky. I got to get it in the light. There we go. Do it just like that. You can see I'm way off the card, but that's okay. Okay, so now I've stamped it. All my images are stamped on there in the clear, in the Versamark. Like I said, you really can't see it, but magic is going to start to happen here soon. Now I have clear embossing powder in this one. You're not going to see it like you saw when I did the sentiment in white, okay? Hold on here. And we're going to cover this entire card with the clear embossing, okay? And it should stick just where I put the Versamark ink. See, can you kind of see where it's, I'm not used to doing such a large area here. Let me do it like this. There we go. Can you kind of see that now? You can see where that heat, the embossing powder is. Yeah, you can see that. Let me, let me get any extra off. And you can kind of look too and see if you have any embossing powder where you don't want it. But if you did use your embossing buddy, this, you shouldn't. And you know what? It looks pretty good. It doesn't look like I have too much there. So let me set this to the side. Oh, I've got some embossing powder all over my desk here. Hang on. 
Let me put this over to the side. I just want to get some of this out of the way. There we go. It's the one thing embossing powder is messy. Now is the fun. Now's the really messy part. I am going to take my Memento Black ink pad. Oh no, I'm not. I got I to gotta heat emboss first. Sorry, folks. I almost forgot a very important step. Hold on, we gotta, you know, heat this up and melt it just like we did with the, the white. But you may or may not be able to see it on camera. Turn this around. It's getting hot on my fingers. Okay, so now I don't know if you can see the clear embossing on there or not. Okay, I got some people that joined late. Welcome. So, now, the fun. Now, now's the fun. You're going to go, no, don't do that. I'm taking my Memento black ink pad and I'm just going to smear it all over. No, no. See where I'm, I'm where this is going? The ink will, will resist where the embossing powder is. Just trying not to get so much ink on my fingers. You will get inky on this, so. But it's, it's fun, and look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. Let's see. I think that looks pretty good. Let me do a little bit more right here in the center. Then... You just take a, this is just a little piece of paper towel, and you just kind of buff the ink off of those spots, off that embossing powder. And it's a resist. Look at that, is that not cool? Now, you don't want to reheat this because you'll melt the embossing powder you know, after I put all the, laid all the colors of ink down, you know how I use the um, heat gun on it. You don't want to do it again now because, you know, you don't want to melt the embossing powder and you can burn the paper. So, I would, at this point, I would let this dry for a little bit, you know. You wouldn't want to send this right away. But look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Isn't that pretty? I like that one better than my first one than my sample but look at that I mean I just have a couple little mess ups but you know what that's from embossing powder that's not anything I could put my sentiment over it or something like that and that's all there is it really is pretty simple it really is pretty simple so let me get rid of this piece and um, again now this is just another piece of black uh, eight and a half by five and a half, folded in half. Again, we use our bone folder to get a nice crisp crease. Um, I'm gonna use my Tombow glue. I don't know if you all have used the new adhesive yet for Stampin' Up. I have it, but I haven't used it yet. I just keep going for all the old, my old stuff. So I think I'll go ahead and I'll put my little, quote, boo-boos down below. Look at that. Okay. And of course, I don't, I, I forgot to bring the second piece of cardstock with me for the inside, but I would just put it in and I had just stamped 
one of these small ones in um, the magenta. Uh, what color is that called? Magenta Mad Magenta Madness. And then I already had the sentiment all cut out, you know, embossed and cut out. I showed you one earlier. But really, that's all it is. It's called Jacob's Coat. And I thought that was such a pretty, pretty card. And I, I think your colors are, you know, sky's the limit, essentially, on whatever colors you want to use. Um, you could do Christmas colors if it was during the holidays. You could just use anything. So to, I hope you like this. I think it was really... So I'm going to just kind of put it down a little bit over that, and then it won't even be too noticeable. To a friend that makes me smile. So if you like what you saw, I'd appreciate it if you share my video and comment that you shared, and maybe I'll be sending this card out to you next week, folks. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And I would love to see, if you try this technique, I'd love to see what your... Um, cards look like. So post them so we can all see. Thank you guys. I, um, I'm glad you joined me and hopefully we'll see you next week at 8 p.m. Eastern for Stampin' with Denise. Take care guys. Bye now.